What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek. And today we're talking about Power Automate and Microsoft Teams. And we're gonna look at the action, which is List Teams. So List Teams gives you a list of all the teams inside of your tenant. This could be good when you want to make sure that you don't hit that team's limit inside your environment. Uh, and if you want to be overseeing all the governance inside your Microsoft organization, uh, but you don't really have the control to maybe prevent people from creating teams because that's a necessary function, but you may not want people to create in like hundreds and hundreds of teams. So this is a cool action that gives you a list of your teams and you can check to see, um, you know, the, the newly created things and do actions based on that. So let's take a look at this today. So I'm in Power Automate. I have a manual trigger here and I can click on new step. Go to Microsoft Teams scroll down until I get to list teams preview. This is one of those actions that doesn't require any additional parameters. All it's going to do is it's going to go off and it's going to list the teams. So what I will do is I will throw in a compose action just underneath. Uh, we'll grab some dynamic content and maybe we just want um, team name. But as you can see from the dynamic content, we got team name, team description, team ID for the Office 365 group because Teams is based off of Office 365 groups. Um, we got team list and stuff like that. So we'll choose team name. As I choose this, it will throw and apply to each around um, all of it because it's going to come back as an array and I want uh, that team name. So I'm going to click on test. I'll perform a trigger action, we'll save and test, click run the flow, click done, it's trying to go off, it's trying to grab a list of my teams and it's trying to display them back. So if I go into the compose action and the apply to each, I can see we've got this TSG group one, to our work, MTG demo team, that's my team that I've been using for a lot of these videos and the flow no flow team um, for my, which is one of the ones I created as part of this. If I expand the list teams, we can see the array that's come back here. We get a few pieces of content as in like, is it archived? So is it active or not? Um, and you know, display name and stuff. So what you could do is you could have a, maybe a SharePoint list or something like that, that currently holds the number of teams and maybe the names of those teams. And you could do something like, you know, check to see if the number of teams is currently the number of teams you've got in your SharePoint list. And if it if it's greater than that, maybe you find a new entry and then you know update the list or something like that. Try and keep a, a hold on how many teams are being created inside your environment. But that's what I would use this for. What about you? I think Teams governance is, governance is a, a really a, a big thing, especially in this, this COVID era where we need to make sure we're using Teams in the right way. What do you guys use this action for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.